All right, we're back, and uh, we are now at our Dallas Secure Storage Facility. And uh, thanks for joining me here, Jared. Um, so welcome. essentially, uh, first thing is, can you visit this facility if you're a customer that, that is storing IRA metals here? Absolutely. If your um, IRA metals are indeed in our Dallas depository, you are able to come visit them so long as you set it up with your financial institution or your custodian. They will make the arrangements and you can come look at your metals. Excellent. Okay, so why is uh, why is there a requirement for a custodian to be involved and what's their role in this whole thing? Yeah, so the custodian is just going to be the middleman between the customer and the um, IRS, essentially ensuring that your metals are meeting the IRS purity standards, as well as um, making sure that the custodian depository and the metals dealer are all meeting the IRS requirements. Okay, excellent. Is it possible to store the metals at home? No, currently all the accounts that we set up here at JM Bullion uh, we require that there be a third-party depository that is IRS approved to store your precious metals. Okay, great. Can you speak a bit on the frequency of making deposits or purchases? Is there a limit to how many times I can add to it? Anything along those lines? Sure. As far as contributions for precious metals to your self-directed IRA, you would just consult your tax expert based on your income and age to how much you can put in every year. What about uh, selling the metals back to JM Bullion? Is that possible? How would that work? Yeah, it's a great question. So our depository is located right next door to our sell to us facility. So all you would do is call up our sell to us department. We'll quote you a price for the metals at that time. And once we verify for purity and weight, we will put the tax deferred cash back into your self-directed IRA in a cash position. Okay, excellent. Can you kind of give us an overview of the charges associated with setting up an account like this and you know what we need to know about? Sure. So with the initial setup, usually we're talking about in the range of $300 that it covers the account setup fee, uh, fee to get the money transferred from your current custodian to the self-directed IRA custodian. That will also cover the segregated storage of your metals as well as the insurance. That only is for the first year. Every year after that, it drops down to about the $250, $260 range. Okay, excellent. So what about the tax implications once you sell? How, how does that play out? So as far as tax implications go for this type of account, when you liquidate, um, and you want to take a distribution, whether that be in kind for your metals or as cash, you would just add that to your federal and state income tax for the next year, and you will be taxed based on what your tax bracket would be. Okay, excellent. What about if I have some old metal at home or something like that that I would like to add? Is that an option for me to do that? Unfortunately, no. Um, we are concerned about purity standards and meeting the IRS requirements to make sure that there's no issues with the self-directed IRA accounts. So you would only be able to purchase what is brand new from a trusted uh, gold, silver, precious metals dealer like us. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Jared. For of all course. That. Definitely appreciate that. And uh, if you're interested in learning more about IRAs or initiating one, speaking with uh, Jared or someone on his team, give us a call at 1-800-276-6508, or you can reach us via email at ira at jmbullion.com. Thank you so much.